Some of the goals of bridge construction are improving transportation, creating regional links and stimulating economic growth. But most importantly, it is a great business opportunity, and it is no secret that bridges make tons of money with toll revenue. Imagine how profitable it would be to bridge two powerful nations. The bridges that connect Windsor in Canada and Detroit in USA are some of the most important pieces of infrastructure in the North American region. They're so important that there's been a kind of competition underway to build the best one. The newest to be constructed is the Gordy Howe International Bridge. Pushing the bounds of engineering, it's set to become the longest cable state bridge in North America and the fifth longest cable state bridge in the world. The bridge is scheduled for completion by the end of 2024, and once built, it will offer more capacity, network connectivity, improved border procedures, and the ability to expand trading between both countries. The largest trading partnership in the world is between the US and Canada. With $664 billion worth of trade in 2021, Canada surpassed China as the US's biggest trading partner. Detroit and Windsor account for nearly a fifth of all trade, and over $300 million worth of commodities are transported daily between the two cities. At this busiest commerce route, with traffic crossing the border expected to grow from 18,500 vehicles a day in 2016 to 26,500 by 2025, the Gordie Howe Bridge will provide an orderly flow of people and goods between USA and Canada. It will offer new crossing, highway-to-highway -highway links, and updated border processing facilities. Additionally, it will increase the effectiveness of transportation between Ontario, Quebec, and Eastern Canada. The project will assist the local economy by adding 2,500 employment opportunities. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is being developed through a public-private partnership between Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority and Bridging North America, and it will be publicly owned by the governments of Canada and Michigan. Proposed nearly two decades ago, this project is named after Canadian ice hockey player Gordie Howe, whose celebrated career included 25 years with the Detroit Red Wings, and who died two years before construction of the bridge began. Initially, the bridge project was conceptualized and began as the Detroit River International Crossing in 2004. The approvals for the bridge construction came in 2007 and 2008. The bridge was originally anticipated to be finished by 2016, but construction was delayed as a result of Canada's rejection of a $550 million allocation. In 2012, the federal government of Canada declared funding for the bridge's construction and provided $25 million towards the purchase of land on the Detroit side. The following year, the U.S. Department of State granted Michigan the permit required to build the bridge, and Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority was selected to operate the bridge. In 2015, Parsons Corporation was appointed as the general engineering consultant for engineering work and technical advice for the new bridge. By 2016, the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority invited proponents to submit proposals for the bridge's design, construction, financing, operation, and maintenance. In 2017, Following a meeting between the newly elected U.S. President Donald Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, the two governments reiterated support for the speedy completion of the bridge. Then in 2018, it was announced that the consortium bridging North America had been named as the project's builder, and soon after, a groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge was held. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about upcoming mega construction projects in America, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. There are four components to the Gordie Howe International Bridge. They are the bridge by itself, the Canadian Port of Entry, the U.S. Port of Entry, and the Michigan Interchange. The Gordie Howe Bridge will include a 1.5-mile span over the Detroit River and two approach bridges, 
Two 220 meters tall A-shaped towers will be built on either side of the Detroit River, and a pair of 425 meters long cantilevers will be constructed in the middle. The two massive towers are designed to resemble the curvature of an ice hockey stick to honor the legendary hockey player Gordie Howe. The structure will be held up by a series of cables fanning out directly from the two main towers, which will bear the weight of the road. The tower legs, or pylons, have been under construction since 2019. Now concrete must be poured to connect their top and lower members. Next, work will begin on the pylon head, where anchor boxes will house cables to connect the towers and bridge decks. This portion will continue through 2022 and will be easily visible to West Windsor and Southwest Detroit residents. Work on the deck is slated to begin in 2023. Once complete, the bridge will include six motor vehicle lanes, with three each traveling to the US and Canada, and an 11-foot wide pedestrian and bicycle path. This project comes at a crucial time for American infrastructure, as bridges all across the country are reaching the end of their lifespan. The Gordie Howe Bridge Project also includes building new ports of entry that will connect to both the American and Canadian bridge terminals. The new Canadian port of entry will be built on a 130-acre site and will be the largest Canadian port on the U.S.-Canadian border. The U.S. port of entry will be developed on a 167-acre site and will be one of the largest border facilities in North America. Both ports of entry will contain inbound and outbound inspection facilities, and the plazas will be large enough to add processing facilities if necessary. An updated Michigan Highway Interchange will add five new pedestrian walkways and four new overpasses. Key intersections will be widened to improve the flow of traffic for trucks and other transport vehicles to better connect the I-75 and the U.S. port of entry. The estimated total cost of the project, such as the architecture operation, maintenance, and rehabilitation phases, is $4.4 billion. Of that, $2.9 billion will go toward the design-build phases financing, and the residual $1.5 billion will go toward the phases operations, maintenance, and rehabilitation financing. Even though this mega project is a joint venture, Canada is footing the bill for the effort. Therefore, toll stations will be installed on the Canada side, and investors anticipate making back the money invested in the project through future toll revenue. The project has not been met without challenge. There are still a few toll bridges spanning the Detroit River that are privately held, despite state transportation authorities taking control of the majority of them in the 20th century. One of these is the 92-year-old Ambassador Bridge, which is located only a few miles from the brand new Gordie Howe Bridge. Manuel Maroon, the owner of the Ambassador Bridge, has repeatedly sought to block the construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge citing it as illegal due to trespassing on the family land, but it was mostly because it would take away 75% of trade traffic which currently utilized the Ambassador Bridge. Back in the day, this trade corridor was a major source of revenue for Manuel Maroon, and when the Gordie Howe was first proposed in 2004, he sued the governments of Canada and USA, and spent millions of dollars trying to pass a ballot measure to hinder approval for the new bridge. He proposed building a second stretch of the Ambassador Bridge which he would own, and also went to the extent of running a television advert asking President Trump to block construction of the new bridge. Despite this political conflict, the Gordie Howe Bridge would be a remarkable engineering achievement, but better yet, it has the potential to improve one of the most important border crossings in the world for the better. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave your ideas in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.